Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? It's me, Misael, again. The idea man here. With some uh, fresh takes on some old ideas for you. So, uh, anybody who knows me knows that um, all my crazy ideas are to fund this end goal of building bunkers for the ordinary man. So this is my spin on the whole vault uh, concept and idea, right? Because until something um, reaches the poor, the average population, the average person, it really doesn't change the world. It doesn't even affect it. So my idea is pretty simple, right? The average person can afford insurance, including end of the world insurance. So basically, you pay a monthly fee in order to have a key card, um, some special access code for yourself to get into the bunker. Um, but beyond that, I mean, it, it has to be functional all the time, right? So my idea is pretty simple. If enough people, uh, once somebody is signed on for the, the bunker access, right? And they paid like, say, six months or a year. Well, then they have the right to um, schedule uh, a stay at the bunker so that we can both make sure everything is functional and working in working order before we ever close the doors or even think about closing the doors. You know, you gotta test run everything and make sure everything's functional. And the easiest way to do that is to let people in once in a while, uh, test it out, you know? And beyond that, um, you gotta test out your entertainment because without entertainment, I guarantee you people will not stay in a freaking bunker for months, especially not years. It's just not gonna happen, right? So having like you know, virtual theme park in there is to me the, the key goal and the really the success of what would be known as like a, a national vault project. Every city would have its own. Um, every city with a significant population. Inside the bunker, you would uh, have all the amenities of a theme park. I mean, you gotta have rides, you know, these virtual ones. Um, you gotta have theaters and restaurants, and you gotta have, you gotta have um, some semblance of like a life that you could have underneath there, and to know that you could keep it going. Self-sufficiency um, would be a a real cornerstone goal of, of the vaults, you know, to have um, terrariums and, um, you know, enclosed ecosystems and stuff. But I don't think any of that stuff's going to come about on its own. So I come up with other business ideas that are more viable to an ordinary, you know, poor person like myself. But even some of those ideas just take so much funding that, you know, realistically, I'm never going to get it done. So if you are a go-getter and you have the um, entrepreneurial spirit and all whatnot, if you think you can make money off of these great ideas, you know, go for it. Just don't forget about who, you know, implanted these ideas in your head. And eventually I'm going to need funding for some of my other ideas. So don't forget about me. Misael, the idea man. Anyway, one of my many other ideas is... Um, So this idea takes a lot less funding, but you'd still need a lot of capital. If you live in a city with a densely populated area, you have way more chance of success. So it's pretty simple. It's a bong cleaning service. I don't know how many people smoke marijuana, but it's got to be a significant portion of the population of the United States of America. And seeing as how it is, um, I guarantee you a lot of people deal with this problem which is that I've seen people with those water pipes, man, that they've never cleaned them out or they haven't been cleaned out in months or something. It's disgusting. And and it's all, they always say the same thing, right? It's because it's a pain in the ass. It's, it's a hassle because it's a, it's a problem. Well, for a monthly fee, we'll take that problem off your hands. So this is my spin on a bong cleaning service. It's really simple. You have engineers specially design pipes and bongs that can be cleaned inside of a washing machine 
or some kind of special cleaning machine that you build for yourself. Um, and then you, you run around and pick up people's dirty bongs and you immediately give them a brand new clean bong, you know, because they're the, all going to be standard shapes and standard sizes. Um, depending on the monthly fee you pay is what size you'll have access to and or how many you'll have access to. Maybe you can pay a little bit of extra money every month so that uh, if you're a clumsy person and you break your bong all the time, well, they'll just come pick up the pieces, melt it down, and, and make you a new one, you know? Um, but the idea is pretty simple. If you charge a minimal monthly fee, because those water pipe things are really expensive, um, I think a person would be willing to pay a monthly fee to have their piece picked up once or twice a month and have it cleaned professionally and look like brand new. Um, and that would save them on the amount of money that they spend buying the thing in the first place. Because, um, you know, to make this video, I checked it out and I went to the, the, the pipe stores. Those things are freaking expensive, man. They cost like 140 to $200 for a, a glass pipe. So this is where the profit comes in. So the more densely populated your area, the less far you have to go to pick up and drop off a piece. Um, plus, you know, you can always adjust your monthly services fees um, in order to ensure that you create a profit over time. And of course, obviously, the more customers you have, the easier that'll be. Um, but at first, I mean, it might be difficult, but in the end run, I think this is the kind of service that changes the world. And this is the kind of stuff that changes the world when we, when we change fundamentally the things we do. But anyway, it's just another uh, one of my, you know, dynamic ideas. Um, pretty simple. What do you think? Is anybody out there thinking? Please contact me if you are. It'd be nice to know I'm not the only one. Anyway. Later, YouTubers. That's my idea on how to make some money. Start some real industry, you know? Change things. This world seems to be stuck on still, man. And I just, I don't get why. With all this amazing technology around us. All that's left is for us to decide how our lives are going to be. And I'm pretty sure most people would decide if you ask them, to, you know, not to work all the freaking time, which is what our lives seem to be about right now. We always have to have two jobs just to survive. And I mean, the whole thing is just, it's just unsustainable. It's not viable. We need to move on with ourselves, you know? Um, machines have taking so much overwhelming power and control and they're just going to continue to do so if we don't take it back. Don't get me wrong, I'm no hippie. I don't think we're just going to change the world because we love it so much. But love is part of the reason we exist. It is the goal the end run result of all good things. Good begets good and evil begets evil. So why don't people start doing good? Not just for themselves, but for the world they live in. Anyway, like and subscribe if you feel like it. I don't tell anybody what to do. <laughs>